Good evening. News headlines 22nd October 2021, International News, in an apparent departure from a long-held U.S. foreign policy position, U.S. President Joe Biden said the U.S. would defend Taiwan if China attacked, reports BBC. The Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine showed 90.7% efficacy against the coronavirus in a clinical trial of children 5 to 11 years old, the U.S. drug maker told today, reports Reuters. UNICEF congratulates Government of India over 100 crore vaccination, reports statesman. UK Secretary of State For Foreign, Commonwealth and Development Affairs, Elizabeth Truss will arrive in New Delhi today on a three-day visit to India, reports DD News. National News, Shah Rukh Khan's son Ayan Khan drug case, NCB says Ananya Pandey supplied drugs to Ayan thrice, actress denies allegations, reports Times of India. The Koregao Bhima Commission of Inquiry today passed an order for issuing summons to IPS officers Parambir Singh and Rashmi Shukla to appear as witnesses in the ongoing probe regarding the circumstances related to the violence on 1st January 2018. The order was passed by Justice, retired, J. N. Patel, who heads the two-member commission. Singh and Shukla are required to respond to the summons by November 8. Singh, who is currently untraceable, was the additional Director General of Police, Law and Order, when the Koregao Bhima violence took place. Shukla was the Pune Police Commissioner and is currently posted in Hyderabad as the additional Director General of CRPF, South Zone, reports Indian Express. Fire broke out on the 19th floor of a residential building in Mumbai's Lalbog area today leaving one person dead and several others injured. The fire is under control and efforts are on to ensure it doesn't erupt again, an official said. The incident took place at the city's luxury one Avigna Park Society. Visuals showed a man falling from the building's 19th floor that was engulfed in flames. Reports NDTV. India's vaccination program Science Born, Science Driven, Science Based, PM Modi. Reports Asian Age. More than 100 crore 59 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine administered in country so far. Reports DD News. Winter session of parliament likely from 4th week of November. The session could commence from November 29th and would end around December 23rd. Reports Hindu. West Bengal's power to withhold consent to Central Bureau of Investigation, CBI is not absolute, sent it to Supreme Court. CBI is an autonomous body not controlled by the union government, center says in post-poll violence case. Reports Hindu. Petma's parent 197 communications has received a nod from the Securities and Exchange Board of India, SABI, for its much-anticipated 16,600 rupees crore initial public offering, IPO. Reports Economic Times. India today successfully fly tested the indigenously developed high speed expendable aerial target, heat, abhyas from the integrated test range, ITR, Chandipur of the coast of Bay of Bengal in Odisha. It was successful, a DRDO sources said. Reports PTI. Priyanka Gandhi, Akhilesh Yadav meet on board Delhi Lucknow flight. Reports NDTV. Tamil Nadu News, Stalin launches Emun Netram, IT Nanban portals to boost interaction between government, industry. A new web portal, Emun Netram, provides the status of about 200 major infrastructure projects costing more than rupees 1 lakh crore. IT Nanban is an interactive platform to engage with the information technology industry. Reports New Indian Express. Thank you. Please subscribe free to iIntelligence iNews to get more videos on important news. Also, like and share if you find our videos really updating, useful and informative. Please provide your valuable feedbacks through your comments. We will reply to your comments. Thank you again and see you in the next news update. Until then bye.